check it out. It had a little Grant steering wheel on here before. No, it was just stock GMC, and it's a little tight now. I'm gonna have to fix that too. I right, look into it. Lights work, signals work. Uh, it's got a winch and spotlights. Those spotlights work sometimes, sometimes they don't. It's something to do with this switch down here. Um, the winch is not hooked up. Have somebody go through the wiring next week and see why that switch isn't working maybe hook up the winch too next week be it's september 20th around that time or september 22nd 23rd it sounds really good it's got a, some headers on it k and filter cold air in all right, gonna do my night video of the Blazer K5 or the Jimmy so you can see the headlights and that all the lights work. So I can show you the courtesy light. That's the courtesy light working in the back. only got one back there one there and one underneath the dash all right wanted to show you these headlights they're pretty neat on this old car shows up like on the camera but in real life it's um like a it's a blue the house is blue too though so it's not the lights but i mean the clarity on these lights are better than any of the modern cars i own All the lights in here work in the dash. It's got great oil pressure. I forgot to mention that earlier. Um, you know, when you're looking at these cars, you want to, oil pressure is a huge thing. It doesn't fluctuate. I mean, it does, but it goes up. It doesn't go down. So if you look at it, it's going up to almost to 60. And that, that gauge is cracked. All the lights work. This door's not shut all the way. It's beeping because the headlights are on. But this thing is just, these lights are awesome. I wish my, all my cars had such good lights. I mean, this is basically a really straightforward Another video of walk out, walk around. Get those. Got my keys. This is the keys for them. Um, walk around it's got this winch it's not hooked up though
It's got the GM floor mats even in it still. I mean, this thing is so clean. Let me uh, show you underneath here. Look at these floorboards. I mean, come on. How solid is that? This carpet looks brand new. The seats look freaking brand new. Everything looks so nice in here, inside and out. Here's underneath. <laughs> I mean, it's solid. It looks really good under here. I mean, look at that pan. looks freaking spotless. It's dual exhaust. Um, still has some original writing from the dealership on the frame. That thing is spotless. There is like zero rust. Those aren't, I mean, that's not rust. That's just like little chips, rock chips. The only rock chips on the car, actually. That was the fastened seat belt, lights. This motor on this window is kind of slow. You can see. It all works. Super, super clean. GM belt buckle still. Console, power locks. You can't, these lights are awesome on here. I mean, it's really fast for a 5.7. Sounds good. And this is just work that I recently did, um, ball joints alignment from Les Schwab. Here's everything that came with this car. It's got the original window detail list right here. It's also got the original purchase slip. It's been in Oregon its whole life. I mean, this is where I'm at right here, this area. This is what they paid for it with the trade-in allowance. Then in 1989, a year after they bought it, they had to repaint the gray and the dealership did it this is their deductible looks like it was a hundred dollar deductible because it's covered under warranty also also came with um, the dealer's book and the manual and then the warranty they must have bought the, the warranty and the warranty has this little I don't know what this is, like a um, protecto plate? 